And now, here's the man with all the answers, Don Miller. Wow. I like that. I like that guy's enthusiasm. Thank you, Peter. For a wonderful introduction, Peter, from uh, Queen Elizabeth Public School, and also from Central Public School, Marsha Hopkinson. Thank you so much for that wonderful introduction. And here it is, another Saturday morning, and another game of the Campus Quiz, game number thirteen in the first round. And uh, you'll be back to meet the six contestants representing these two fine schools right after you watch this. The new 32-volume Encyclopedia Britannica is a source authority for general knowledge questions used on Campus Quiz and is the grand prize to the school which produces the winning team in June. Well, it's so nice you could take some time out to meet six very bright-looking students who are joining us for Campus Quiz. Uh, let's meet them right now and ask that question that we've been sort of pinning them all down the last couple of weeks. Maybe it's a little premature, but what the heck, it's fun. Danny Burke from Central. Hello. How are you? Pretty good. Have you uh, given any thought to what you're going to be doing with your future? No. <laughs> Have you given any thought to thinking about yeah. what you're going to be doing? Yeah. What? A Wall Street executive. Okay, good. Good, Danny. <laughs> good. Let us know when you make your first mill. All right. We'll talk turkey. Danny Burke, have a good game. Beside right. Danny is uh, Chad Grills. And uh, Chad, you been staying awake nights thinking about your future? Yeah, I'd like to be a physical education teacher. Oh, good for you. Teaching what, uh, what grades or, or maybe university? University. Yeah, would you like to teach some of these guys phys ed or? No. No? <laughs> well, enough said, Chad. We'll move on to uh, David Lavery and uh, David. What are you going to do with the rest of your life? Well, I don't really know yet, but. Well, that's, that's being honest. Is there anything, any one particular area of interest you might find yourself leaning into? Yeah, television, stuff like that. Mm. Well, if you can stand the pay, David, lots <laughs> of luck. There they are from Central. Let's move upstairs, meet the folks from the North End from Queen Elizabeth uh, Public. We meet, first of all, <laughs> there they are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and nice to have the Wing family here to uh, applaud <laughs> Graham Wing. And uh, Graham, have you given thought to your future? Um, I've been thinking about it a lot lately. Yeah. And, <laughs> and uh, coming up with what? Not much, but I would like to work in computers. Okay, in them or on them? Both. Okay. <laughs> well, who knows the way the technical age is going. Uh, That's right. You. Well, have a computer dating service. That's kind of an interesting uh, idea. I knew a couple of them that they spread apart. Apparently it was incomputability. Uh, let's move next door to uh, Nikki Holmes. <laughs> Nikki, have you given any thought to what you want to be doing? Yes. Is that it? You know, you know, Nikki. Somebody asked me uh, just before the show. She said, "What do we, what do we do if she freaks out?" Now, Nikki, I don't want you to freak okay. out. What are you going to be doing with your future? I'd like to be an English teacher, and I'd like to write fictionist novels. Well, good for you. So you'll be taking the, the course how how to write good. Yes, I will. Okay, good, Nikki. And finally, uh, certainly last, but and also least probably, no, Matt Cooper. <laughs> Matt. <laughs> Having a lot of laughs with, uh, with Matt. Uh, yeah, sure. We've been doing the laughing like Matt. Matt's going to sue us. Matt, what are you going to be doing with your future? I don't know. Um, Matt, Matt. <laughs> I want to ski. You've had two minutes to prepare. Now, what are you going to do? I don't know. I'll be a cartoonist or a, or a hitman or something. Okay. <laughs> or maybe do both. A little moonlighting. Okay, there they are. It's going to be a fun game. I have that funny feeling. All right, but we have called the police, so we're feeling somewhat assured. Let's get things underway way right now with a, um, this is general interest round. Two-point uh, questions, individual. First one to uh, Danny from Central. Oh, and here it is, Danny. A group of cows is called a herd. What is a group of flies called? A swarm. Yes, for two points. <laughs> yes. Good thing you studied for this, right, Danny? Matt? Why would someone be nicknamed Stretch? Um, if they were a football player and they kept being taken off the field on a stretcher, they might be nicknamed Stretch. No, 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 no. If, if, we, if we paid you by the word, you'd be a millionaire. But no, that is not correct, Matt. Uh, Chad, for two, who brought back the Queen's tarts and vowed he'd steal no more? <laughs> I'm not sure. All right. Oh, you're going to kick yourself. Or maybe Danny will kick you. Nikki, Montezuma is said to have commented on the great wooden towers. <laughs> commented on the great wooden towers floating on the water. <laughs> Who was in those towers? I have no idea. <laughs> if I didn't have the answer, neither would I, Nikki, so don't feel bad. David, 
With what continent would you associate the name Himalaya? I don't know. All right. The ancient continent of I don't know. And Graham, finally, of Iroquois, Algonquians, and Kiowa, which tribe lived west of the Mississippi? The last one you said. <laughs> the, are you saying the Kiowa? Yes. You're right. Yes. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's take a look at the score, please, and we see that it's a very close game. Two points apiece for Queen Elizabeth and Central. There they are. I thought somebody had taken my scramblegram. Well, we do have a scramblegram. Good for a $5 gift certificate from Peterborough Square and also a nice big bag of Humpty Dumpty's Ripple potato chips. Take a look at that scramblegram at home. And then here in our studio audience, remember to put your, uh, put your hand up before you attempt an answer. There's a word hidden in there. Now, I know your regular viewers know that, but some of you are new. Yes. Be happy? No. Are, are you talking about my attitude, kid? Or are you talking? No, it's a city. It's an American city. Okay? It's on the East Coast in the United States. Look at that. It's very, very easy. So, yes. Yes. What? Yes. Philadelphia, as we pass these to a young gentleman. All right. Do we have anybody to take these? Here's a young fella. Yeah, he's not doing anything. He's just a cameraman. And he'll pass those to a young fella in the first row whose name is? Jason Kirchner. And Jason, what school? Central. And, uh, well, good for you. Enjoy the, the chips and the uh, <laughs> All right. Back we go to these wild and wacky contestants. It's a spelling round. First one is for you, uh, Danny. We want you to spell the word clause, as in grammar, a clause. Like Santa Claus? No, no. This is a clause. You're... <laughs> You're thinking of subordinate clauses, but this is a clause, as in a subordinate clause. Answer any time you feel comfortable, Dan. Uh, <laughs> C L, wait, clause, C L A U S E. Yes, that is right. Some real clause for concern there, Matt. Your word is rehearse. Oh, you can't write them down. Uh, okay. Do them fairly quickly. We don't have R E H E A R S E. Yes, that's right. The two points. Yeah, we we would like to finish the game sometime today. So if you could just sort of answer off the top of your head, Chad, your word is ancient. Ancient. A N C H. No, I'm sorry. That is not correct. Nikki, apology. A-P-O-L-O-G-Y. O-G, you're right, yes. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> David, investigation. I-N-V-E-S-T-A-G. No, I'm sorry, that is not correct. And Graham, final in the spell around. Counsel, that is to advise somebody, to counsel someone. C-O-U-N-S. No. That's oh. All right. All right. Let's take a look at the score once again. And we see that it is Queenie 6, Central 4 in time for yet another scramble. My goodness. Look at the host. He's growing. There we go. We have a 10. Uh, what is it? It's a. It's good for one large factory pizza. At 1000 Lansdowne Street West, you'll find a pizza factory and all those goodies in there for the person who correctly answers this one. Some of these are new. They're kind of fun. Hello. How are you, son? No, you can't answer again. Oh, good, you tore that in half. No, if you won one, you can't win again. Sorry, Dave. Uh, take a look at that. It's, um, do you want a hint? Well, you can forget it. I'm not spoon feeding you. All right, it's a sport. I'll tell you that. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. All right. All right, uh, your certificate is being handed up in two pieces. You can, uh, <laughs> you can get one half a piece the next week and the other half the following week. Just tape that together. Young gentleman there in the 41st row, and uh, what's your name? Ian Fott. And Ian, what school? <laughs> Queen Elizabeth. Good for you. Big round for Ian. <laughs> All right, buzz around, teams. Look at your screen. Identify this member of Canada's wildlife. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yes, Graham. The Canadian goose. No, no, that is... Oh, my goodness! <laughs> it is, because we won't be repeating these later. Uh, uh, it is the loon, although the loon is not officially classified as endangered. 
the density of its population has been drastically reduced in recent years. And the wildlife painter Michael Dumas, in his painting of the loon, on a fish, ingestion of mercury from its food supply may eventually cause a toxic buildup. Now, we're going to be testing you on this. Now, I hope you're, you're listening. All right, uh, here's a music video. Give me either the title or the performer. Yes, David. Sheena Easton? Yes, that is right. <laughs> homonym, please, for the word fair, like in fair weather. The homonym for fair. Yes, Graham. Fair as in I go to the fair to watch the animals. Okay, we'll or accept clown. that, or the fair, or the taxi clown. fair. That is right. Circus. Okay, you only need to give me one. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and Matt, you may leave the room. Um, that does it for this round. We're back with a mass stumper with two points right after you watch this. I love live music. If you have a hidden talent and a desire to perform, then we're looking for you. Are you an amateur magician or a musician? Here is a valuable opportunity to contribute a little of your time and talents to the upcoming Peterborough Rotary Telethon in aid of disabled children. Telephone 742-0451 during regular business hours to book your audition. We're looking forward to hearing from you. That number again, area code 705-742-0451 during regular business hours. It begins March 6th on Peterborough's Adult Rock, FM 101. Hello, how are you today? Oh, I'm fine, thank you. With Meals on Wheels, you'll get warmth, caring, and compassion so you can really make yourself at home. I think I'll have at least one. Contact the Meals on Wheels in your community <laughs> and pull up a seat. Each contestant on today's program receives cans of Pepsi Cola and Pure Spring Ginger Ale, compliments of Cavalier Beverages, Peterborough. <laughs> Big Mac from either of McDonald's restaurants in Peterborough on Lansdowne Street West or Shimong Road North. You deserve a break today. A package of Humpty Dumpty's Ripple. Another tasty Humpty Dumpty answer to the munchie. A Winterio ticket. Compliments of all the participating Winterio dealers in the area. And a ballpoint pen from Cole, the book people in Peterborough Square. For our studio audience, the Pizza Factory at 1000 Lansdowne Street West is giving a large factory pizza to a Scramble Dram winner. And going with two other Scramble Drams are gift certificates worth $5 in one of the many shops in Peterborough Square. Also, the Peterborough Pete's Hockey Club is providing two reserved seat tickets to a Pete's home game. Go Pete's go! Well, close but no cigar. I think Graham answered uh, 0.84, but it's 0.83 is what we were looking for. Too bad! So nobody gets the two points, and we're back to uh, the second round, and away we go. Two-point individual round, geography. First one for you, Danny. In what parts of Africa are travel, hard manual labor, and celebrations held early in the morning or late in the evening? High or low, should I? Don't want me to say that. No, no, in what parts of Africa? Uh, southern regions. Um, no, we can't accept that. No. Uh, good guess. Matt. Coffee is indigenous to Africa. What does this mean, indigenous? It means if you catch a cold, then you'll likely die from it. Yeah. No. That's close, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, that is not correct. Mm. All right. We'll be, we'll be having medical help for Matt here almost immediately. Um, uh, Chad, name two European nations that had colonies in Africa. Just give me two. Of, a, of many. Europe? No, 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 okay. No, we, we can't accept that, no. All right, uh, Nikki, are you with me? <laughs> Which South African city sits astride the world's richest gold mining area? Uh, 
I can only think of a South African city, right? Um, Petura? Petura. <laughs> no, no, that's not right either. <laughs> Whatever that is. David. <laughs> what are you been doing at Queenie? David, this is for you. Are the lakes which lie in the Rift Valley deeper than most other lakes in Africa? Yes. Yes, that's right. <laughs> David is a recognized expert in the Rift Valley Lakes, I understand. Uh, Graham, is English spoken in South Africa? Yes, it is. Yes, it's one of the two. Yeah. All right, so let's check the score. Uh, it, it is, oh, good game. Queen Elizabeth 8 and Central is 7 and time for another scramble gram. $5 gift certificate from Peterborough Square and another big bag of Ripple's potato chips. Take a look at it at home and then here in our studio audience. Uh, take a look at that. I'll tell you this, it is an American city, yes. Oh, oh you sure guessed right on that, yes. <laughs> Denver. Denver, yes, that is right. And there's a, there's a young gentleman there. There, we were sort of panning, trying to find him. There he is, right in the far right there in the second row. Let's, oh, what's, <laughs> what's your name? Out of rush. Adam? Okay, give Adam a conk and see if he responds. Adam, what school? Uh, Queen Elizabeth. Good for you. Nicely done. And here comes your goodies by Fredo, Fredo, uh, yeah. Fredometer. And a uh, big round of applause for, um, uh, yeah. All right, we're back to another round of individual questions. This is the video round. What we do is provide you a clip on the screen, and we want you to tell us the name of the program from which it's taken. First one is yours, Danny. Take a look. Um, and then you started to make your left hand turn, mm -hmm. and that's when he hit you. Mm -hmm. Were you in the car with him? No, I was a witness. I was driving my own vehicle behind Adam. Yes, Danny. People's cart. That's right. Yes. <laughs> All right, uh, Matt. The next uh, program for you to identify is yours. Look at your screen. It's usually a gold bracelet on one of those home shopping channels. Uh, <laughs> No, I believe, now I'm not sure, but I would think because of the high content, it would be sterling silver. I'll agree. Yes. And that's Hollywood Squares, Don. Yeah. Yeah. The man was a little stumped over that, but we gave him a time. Here you go. Chad, this is for you. Early giants have found a surprising benefit to having their music used in commercials. In addition to getting paid, their original songs are climbing the pop charts again. <laughs> Entertainment tonight? Yeah, you got that. Right. Okay, Nikki, it's your turn. I eat mostly takeout, you know, ribs, Chinese, pizza, and if I get real ambitious, I make myself a TV dinner. <laughs> but then I feel obligated to watch TV. Empty net? Yes, that is right. Yeah. <laughs> David, take a look. Two hours of watching scary movies is too much for me. My head hurts, my stomach is all tied up in knots, and I think I'm getting hives. Thanks for a lovely evening. <laughs> oh, how that little pack. Perfect strangers. Yes, perfect strangers. Yes. And finally, for TVQ testing, Graham, take a look. Dinner with a woman that I find somewhat attractive. Isn't that a date? Used to be. <laughs> yes. The Hogan family. Yes, that is right. All right. Well, look at that score. Queenie, 14, Central, 13, and I have a pair of tickets to the next Pete's game. Reserve seat tickets, which incidentally is next Thursday at 7.30. Kingston Raiders are in town. The person who correctly answers this question, what position does Ross Wilson play? Left wing. Yeah. That's right. The left wing is right. Nicely done. And uh, this is the guy who got it wrong before, but he got it right this time. And uh, aren't you glad? And what's your name? Rob Logan. And Rob, what school? Queenie. Yeah, I sort of guessed. What? Uh, are you a Pete fan? Yeah. Well, you better be to go to free games. Big round of applause for Rob. <laughs> All right, uh, buzz around. Teams, look at your screen. Identify this member of Canada's wildlife. Ah. Oh. Yes, Matt. The snowy owl. Exactly, yes. Yeah. Can I give him that? All right, Matt. 
Artist Michael Dumas has shown the snowy owl in the more southern habitat that it frequents on occasion. This Arctic dweller makes a southward migration when its main food source, the lemming, has a population decline. The lemming is a small mouse-like animal, and the snowy owl does not smoke cigars. Incidentally, hominem question for the, for the word tie. The knot has been tied. Hominem, yes, Matt. I'm sorry, you can't. You've got to have it right away. We're looking for, well, we'll ask it later on. Music video. Give me either the title or the performer. No, it's Waterline by the Spoon. All right, here's another hominem question for the word right, the right way. Right, hominem, please, Graham. With the pen, I write a sentence. Yes, that is correct. That's <laughs> right. That's, that's the score. <laughs> and it is Queenie 15, Central 13, Mass Temper coming our way. Two point answer, hopefully, right after you watch this. presents a special tribute to the great Roy Orbison. Only the lonely. I'm going back someday. Gonna stay on Blue Bay. Pretty woman. Roy Orbison's music touched the hearts of millions. And now all of its greatest hits can be yours on this special tribute collection. Available on two LPs, double length cassette, compact disc, or stereo video cassette. To order, call now. The Great Roy Orbison, a special tribute to a man whose music will always be remembered. On two LPs or double length cassette, sixteen ninety five. Compact disc or stereo video cassette, nineteen ninety five. Write or call now. School, which produces the winning team in June, goes a complete 32-volume Encyclopedia Britannica, a reference source for the 21st century. For information regarding copies of Michael Dumas' prints used on Campus Quiz, contact the Gallery on the Lake, Box 11, Buckhorn, K-O-L-1-J-O. I, I hope he gets an education with looks like that. He'll he'll need it. That's the that, that's the queen. Is that the queenie mascot? Yeah. Right, what do you call it? What do you call it? Oh, what? What? It? Cool, Kong. Oh, cool Kong. Yes, I should have known. All right. Nice, nice. Okay. Well, welcome back. Uh, these kids are going ape over the program. We're looking for point two two four. For point two two, uh, Graham came up with point two four. Graham's so close all the time, but sorry, not close enough. All right, we are in the quickie quiz section of the contest. We go over questions that have been missed in the past. Also, some new questions. We ask our team, our, our audience, to please withhold your applause until the very end. Then you can throw money at the host. They're all worth one point unless you try to get the answer and don't get it. You lose that point. Now, first question is, what did I really say? Okay, it's wide open around. Why would somebody be nicknamed Stretch? Yes, Graham. If they were tall. Yeah, tall, thin, or run over by a steamroller. <laughs> Who brought back the Queen's tarts and vowed he'd steal no more? Matt? Name of hearts. Yes, the name of hearts. Very good. Montezuma is said to have commented on the great wooden towers floating on the water. Who was in those towers? I don't expect it. It's the Spanish conquistador. Mm. With what continent would you associate the name Himalaya? What continent? David? Switzerland? No, the continent of Asia. Continent. A spell, please. Ancient. Nikki. A-N-C-I-E-N-T. Yes. Spell investigation. Yes, Nikki. I-N-B-E-S-T-I-G-A-T-I-O-N. Oh, yes, Dan. Finally, Council. Yes, Danny? C-O-U-N-C-I-L. No, no, C-O-U-N-S-E-L. Remember, Council to advise. In what parts of Africa are travel, hard manual labor, and celebrations held early in the morning or late in the evening? The Sahara, the Kalahari, Somalia, and parts of East Africa. Oh, yes. Coffee is indigenous to Africa. What does this mean? Graham, Matt was so close last time. Natural. It's grown there. Like you okay, that's there. right. Grown. It originates there. That's right. Name two European nations that had colonies in Africa. Graham. Um, Holland and Britain. No. Britain, France, Portugal, Belgium, Italy, Spain, or Germany, but not Holland. Which so uh, South African city sits astride the world's richest gold mining area? Yes, Danny. 
It is Johannesburg. We would like the uh, homonym, please, for the word uh, tie. This knot has been tied. Nikki. Oh, a tie to wear a tie? Oh, no. No, 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 that's not as... No, that's not right. Uh, that, no, no, tide, the tide rolls in, but... According, oh, are you all right, dear? According to rodeo veterans, which is more dangerous, riding a bronco or a bull? Yes, David. A bull. Yeah, it's more dangerous and pays more. What should you do if you're heading downhill on a sled? Straight for a tree. Danny? Jump off the sled. Yes, roll <laughs> off. Danny's had experience. Are camels ever used for military purposes today? Graham? Yes. Yeah, they sure are. Uh, who is apt to be more outspoken, people with high IQs or people with low IQs? Graham? Low IQ. No, people with high IQs. What do you think about that? Um, here's a mental math question. The uh, person who comes up with it gets this one. Terrio, if one dozen apples cost a dollar fifteen to buy, and in the same store two dozen of the same apples cost two twenty nine to buy, which is the better bargain? Matt? The two dozen apples. Uh, the, the, yes, the second one. Is <laughs> Pick your one, Terrio, up at the end, Matt. For what do the letters CM stand for? CM, small C M. It is. Yes, Nikki. Centimeter? Yes, oh. that is correct. In what organ of your body are your left and right oracles and ventricles located? Yes, Graham. Your heart. Yes. In what sport does the ball have holes for your fingers? Graham? Bowling. Yes. According to experts in the field, should glazed ham be sliced with the glazed side up or down? Danny? Down. No, up. <coughs> what is the name given to the Polynesian people of New Zealand? Are they Zulus, Incas, or Maoris? Yes, Nikki. The Maori? Yes, that is correct. <laughs> 22. Give it up, Chad. What, 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 word of, what word of three letters describes an amateur radio operator? <laughs> it is ham. What do you think about that? Don't get personal. What is an albino? Yes, Matt. It's the person with pale skin and red eyes. Okay, yeah, oh, whose who skin and hair is white and has pink eyes. Of what country is Madrid the uh, capital city? Yes, David. Spain. Yes. At what seasons of the year is the change made from daylight saving to standard time and vice versa? Yes, Matt? In summer. No, spring no. and fall. No. Spring and fall back. What kind of power development functions at Pickering, Ontario? Yes, Graham. Nuclear power. Yes. What is another name for Chris Kringle? Yes, Matt? Santa Claus. Yes, indeedy. Oh. How many colors are there in the flag of the United States? <coughs> Nikki. It is three. three. In which Canadian city is there a hill called Mount Royal? Yes, Nikki. Toronto? No, it is Montreal. Oh Why is Mercury sometimes called Quicksilver? Why is Mercury sometimes called Quicksilver? It is a liquid and silver colored. It's as simple as that. In what ocean are the Fiji Islands? Matt? They're in the Pacific. Yes, that is right. <laughs> From what is sand made? Matt. Rock. Yes, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> why does a hot why does a hot iron dry clothes as well as press them? And the last time you're ironing, why did it do that? Matt. Because the molecules of water heat up and then they float in. It's called evaporation. Yes, right. Matt. Yes. <laughs> and that's the end of the contest. Let's take a look at the scores. <laughs> Queen Elizabeth defeating Central 26 to 12. Congratulations, Danny Burke, Chad Grills, and David Lavery for a, a good showing. It was nice to have you here. Hope you had a good time. Did you have a good time? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No lie. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much. Name of your coach? Well, thank you to her for being here. Queen Elizabeth, wow, fairly handy uh, win. Matt Cooper, uh, Nikki Holmes, and uh, Graham Wing, you'll be back for round two. Nicely done. The name of your coach? Mr. Terry Moody. And Mr. Sager. Are you sure about that? Both of them. Hey, Mr. Moody yeah. or Lloyd <laughs> Oh, and Carlo Boss. Okay, thank and you Carlo so much. And Carlo Boss. He's, our, he's right over there. You're so far the strangest team we've had on this year. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> that about wraps it up. Uh, join us again, hopefully, next Saturday for another game of Campus Quiz. So they don't take us all out of here. John Miller saying thanks for watching. Bye for now. <laughs>
by the way, this Marcy, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get you to lay down.